the most straight and she was like I'm here to show you Girl, you stepped on me with your heels, with your pencil heels. But I said, I'm sorry, so. bro. You. And but I said, I didn't go. You, you were really picking on me, provoking me, provoking me. I think we should come to the point where when they call something a reunion, it should actually be a reunion and not a place to stare, fight, trouble, you know, just open wounds that people have closed and moved on with. Anyways, to be fair, people didn't really move on. They just, you know, put it aside and just kept moving on with their life. Now, let's talk about today's episode of the reunion. And at that time, we were kind of close. So she called me. I went to teach one to you. Yes. Please pass this. Yes, pass this. Okay. Welcome to the channel. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can go ahead and like as well so that many others will see this video. Thank you so much. Now, let's talk about today's episode. I am not going to do So, they started off with a clip and in that clip, they had that controversial Corel a big statement that Amaka told Chi Chi that Groovy and Fina had sex and in turn Chi Chi told Bella that they had sex. Bella told Chumzy that they had sex and then Chumzy went to tell Groovy that they had sex. That's Fina and Groovy. So man, the thing was so messy and that was sort of the thing that took Amaka out of the house. So they were trying to address the issue and Chi Chi asked because she wasn't really comfortable with the relationship. The fact that Beauty just left and Fina was just going ahead with Groovy. It didn't sit well with her and she told Fina about it. So she just wanted to confirm from Amaka if truly that was happening and amaka said yes that they were dating in fact they're doing the things that boyfriend and girlfriend do and Chichi -chi said that was the same thing she told bella but bella was like no you told me that they had sex and that was it that she even went ahead to describe it that they had sex she said she doesn't remember saying that that she doesn't that she can't go ahead and say something that they did not tell her anyways moving from there Chomzi told um, Groovy because Groovy had picked an interest in her because we all know that Groovy liked Chomzi. So she just was saying, oh, you are claiming that you like me, but you are going ahead having sex with Fina, you know. So Groovy took the matter and he went ahead to tell Fina. And Groovy was like, he doesn't know where the thing came from because him and Fina were confused as to why they would be saying that they had sex in the house when they didn't. To be fair, this conversation did not go anywhere. And so the matter just take die. Moving on from that, they played another clip. I realized that um, the blood is not to be defeated. And this was Giddy Fire talking with Adekunle Gold. Mm. Adekunle Goldbao was talking to Adekunle about Amaka. He was just talking about how he feels like him and Amaka, they've come to the point where they've realized that this thing cannot work. So both of them, they've come to an end of whatever it is that they have. And he also realized that his friendship with Diana is actually genuine. And just, you know, coming out of this situation and being able to handle it better. You know, when they came back, they asked Giddy Fire. He said that clip just made it look like, oh my God, he said a lot. He effed up because he was just saying like, she will come with her towel and be shaking her bum bum in the bathroom, in the kitchen, you know. So it was reaching. So he felt like he fucked up for saying that. However, he said, yes, looking back, he will say it over and over again that he should have handled the whole situation differently. But at the time, that was where he was. He was dealing with other things and he just did he was overwhelmed with everything and he couldn't do more than he did but he was cool with rachel was cool with diana as well and he apologized to amaka before he left the show amaka said she doesn't remember him apologizing if he says that he did not understand or whatever that's like some a problem that some guys have so Amaka said she, she has forgiven him and she doesn't feel like she wants to go back to his bygone, to his old gist, that she even has forgiven herself for putting herself in that messy situation that it shouldn't even happen, you know. So Ebukana asked her that, but does she think that his explanation is true? And she was just like, she doesn't understand how you were coming to me, you were dancing with me at the party, you will come to me, lie down in my bed, and Rachel was next to you, you are doing like you don't know what is going on in that situation. Ebukana 
came again one Sunday and said, oh, what happened with you and Rachel? You people had a moment. Now, that was a point to just bounce. Like, how will you say I'm training myself at you? Because that was what he was saying in the in the video clip with Ade Kunle. You know, so she just said, I beg, that is not what it. People going to say, why don't you believe what he's saying? But you believe every other person. She said, she asked Diana. Diana kept saying nothing was happening. She asked Gidifa. Gidifa said nothing was happening. But then it was just obvious that something was going on with both of them. Gidifa said nothing was going on. It was just friendship and it is what it is. So Ebuka asked Gidifaya, do you think that you owe someone here an apology? Because that was what you said. At this point, the best not kind of time for me to tell you <laughs> 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 To be honest. Because, yeah, many people... Maka is not finding it funny, but go on. I say yes, he does, and as in stance now, he just made for him to carry microphone, stand for the middle. So, yeah, everybody sorry you, and he cracks everybody up. A lot of people laughs, but Amaka wasn't finding it funny, anyways. After that, we moved forward. Like, okay, this is like we don't know who's gonna go home, so let's just have fun. And normally, if I'm dancing in the club, I so the whole drama with Ilebaye and Chichi, which was so funny because, like. <laughs> Looking back at the whole story, said that nice went from zero to hundred. We all knew that Lebaye was one kind of girl. She would move from place to place, try to just you know catch the vibe and get the feeling. But Chichi wasn't finding it funny where she went to you know at the party where she was dancing with Groovy and then Lebaye gets to the middle. So you know Chichi said she didn't like the fact that she did that and. Elaba said, but I apologize to you. Like, so what is the issue? Ebuka now asks that. Did she apologize? She said yes. So why did you now take it further and start saying she's a market woman and going off? Like, why were you so pissed after she apologized? So Elaba now say exactly. You could have just accepted the apology and move on. She said no. You don't tell somebody when to accept anybody's apology. You know. Anyways, they were now trying to go back again. You know. Elaba now mentioned that something happened in South Africa again. That Chichi still came with that same energy. She said you stepped on me with your pencil heels like you don't do that you never know, say it was a mistake i didn't intend to step on you like i didn't even know it was you but she was not having it you know both of them she was like who do you think you are because she was like eleba is picking on her Nobody say, who are you that I'm picking on you? Like, why should I pick on you? If you want to even talk about market man, I know your gist, so you shouldn't be saying that about me. People can say, okay, if you were in the house, because she left the following day after that party, and Chichi said she felt bad that, oh my God, she left. I could have forgiven her and just let things slide. But Lebe now said she was hearing things that Chichi was saying when she came out of the house and all that. If she was there, it wouldn't have been funny. Now, say, because I say, you say you did it, what you for do? Because see, I hear now, you never feast to do anything, and I don't dare say since. What would you have done? She it's just like, no, it doesn't make any sense for us to be talking about her like that. Anyways, away from that, to wrap up the show this evening, Ebuka asked Rachel how it was being a rider in the house. So Rachel just said it was not easy for her because she came into the show thinking that she was going to contest to win the money but they just told her hours before that oh you are going to be a rider she was locked up alone unlike other people that had partners she was locked up alone for three weeks and by the time she came into the house she was her mind was already messed up and she went to level one which didn't even do justice to her because the level one people were not welcoming she feels that she would have done better in level two because like when she came everybody had moved on people were coupled up it was just so difficult trying to you know mingle with the rest of the housemates but but besides that she found her feet most mostly when they you know pay them together you know yeah so that was what happened this night yeah i tried i didn't know that I, I still had it in me to talk this much in my mind i was just going to come out here and just say one short thing but yeah anyways this is it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and until next time i'm going to see you on the next one bye bye